There are thousands of astrology books out there. And if you're anything like me, I know you're struggling to find the best fit for your knowledge levels. This is the sole reason I'm doing all of these series, you guys. I'm Ingliana Rachiva from Astrology Consult. I'm a professional astrologer and I started reading about astrology probably around 10 years ago. And I do have a lot of books. The idea behind this video is to present modern day astrology. Uh, it will have recommendations for three books for each side of the modern day in astrology and you can pick and choose where to start. Now, in the series I shall be talking about books for beginners. Probably there will be another series for advanced book readers or advanced astrologers. But now let's stick to the beginners. First, you need to understand that modern day in astrology has at least two parts to itself. Psychology and predictive astrology. Now, one part is totally based on Carl Jung and his archetypes. Uh, this is a fairly new wave of astrology. Uh, it was developed with the idea behind that we all have meteorological archetype that live in every one of us. The connection was made that each planet, including the sun and the moon, represent this sort of archetype. So, for instance, Mars and Aries are associated with the god of law, war, and hence the connection Mars and conflicts. Now, the second part of, is the predictive astrology. This is far older than psychological astrology. The roots are connected with Ptolemy, who was one of the generals of Alexander the Great. Ptolemy established after Alexander the Great was dead, Ptolemy established his rulership in Alexandria in Egypt and he started gathering all sorts of, uh, of well, books you know, uh, about astrology that come from the Arabs who already had a far more developed observation of the sky. So Ptolemy had this book, huge book dedicated to astrology and it's a bit outdated nowadays but it had really valuable observations about the world, the stars, and what happens when the stars are in particular position. So um, this is a very old knowledge, you know, it's as old as it gets. He is like the founding father of astrology for us, Ptolemy and his work. Um, there are a couple of astrologers who uh, carry the knowledge throughout the ages, and I just want to thank them so much. Now, however, back to the series and why we are here. So, as I said, there are two parts. We have psychological astrology. We have purely predictive astrology based on Ptolemy and his work. But both of them, thanks to some great minds of the past century and the present century, have been developed. And there are a number of excellent books that can help you navigate. So, part two is going to talk about psychological astrology and three books that I recommend. And part three is going to talk about predictive astrology and three books that I recommend for you to start with. Okay, so this is for the beginning and laying your grounds. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.